Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Carolina Panthers Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram. So glad to be here, coming at you here on the U to the two. So, Carolina Panthers today just had their first preseason game of the 2021 season against the Indianapolis Colts on the road. Wanted to just take some time to just talk about the game and how things went. Some good things I saw, some bad things I saw, and just, you know, kind of go over um, the main points that went down. So, the Colts ended up getting the victory by a score of 21-18. to 18. Now, let's get, let's get started with the offense. Now... Pretty much the second, third, fourth string players played today. No starters played for Carolina. Absolutely no no starters played because the starters already got plenty of reps in during the week when they had uh, scrimmages against the uh, the Colts. So no starters played in this game. But anyway, let's let's take a look at let's take a look at the offense. Um, P.J. Walker started for the Carolina Panthers this game. And I have to say, PJ did pretty good. I have to say he did pretty good. Uh, 10 of 21 for 161 yards and one touchdown. Uh, no sacks. Finished with a 89.6 rating. Not bad. Not bad. Only 10 completions, so not a whole lot of completions, but 10 of 21. Didn't turn the ball over. And he threw a touchdown pass. So, I mean, it's not bad. He had a pretty decent half. Of course, he played the entire first half. Will Greer played the entire second half. But, but yeah, P.J. Walker did pretty well. I, I can't really complain too much. He, he made some good throws. He did scramble out of the pocket. His awareness looked good today. Saw pressure coming, was able to escape. Um, threw, a threw a couple of passes uh, on the run. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the touchdown pass he threw to Tommy Trimble, he threw on the run. So, I mean, P.J. Walker did pretty well using, using his awareness, still looking downfield. I, I think P.J. Walker did, did a pretty dang on good job today. Um, like I said... Only 10 completions, but threw a touchdown, didn't turn the ball over. I'd say he did pretty good. For that For that first half, for the whole first half he played, I think he did pretty good. Uh, Will Greer, that was kind of a different story. 6 of 10, 31 yards, got sacked once, 65.0 rating. Will Greer... If you ask me, and I know a lot of people are saying, well, 6 of 10, that's not, not too bad, but didn't really throw the ball a lot. I felt like there was a lot of hesitation and just, like, he did not really look comfortable today. I don't, I don't think he looked comfortable today, but I don't know, just... Decision making was questionable. Be between the first and the second half, it was definitely clear n night versus day or day and night. Big difference in the, the QB play. But, I mean, it's the first game. So, I mean, we'll see what happens in these next two uh, preseason games. But uh, for the run game, run game, pretty decent. Uh, Chupa Hubbard, seven carries, 80 yards, um, but busted off a 59-yard run um, with a second effort. Kind of struggled a little bit at first, but once he broke broke that 59-yarder, definitely started to look a little better. But O-line's got to do a little bit better on, on run blocking. I felt like the O-line struggled some, but... You know, Chuba Hubbard got some got some good touches, busted off a 59-yarder. 
not bad. Not bad. But I feel like the the O line can definitely do better in the in blocking for the run game. I felt I felt like they did good in pass protection. I mean it only gave up a sack. I felt like O line did pretty well in pass protection. I, I can't really complain too much about the O line's pass pass protection. Um Spencer Brown had nine carries, twenty five yards. Saw a little bit of Darius Darius Clark. Uh the receivers. Receivers got got some decent work. Um Terrace Marshall Jr. snagged him three receptions, eighty eight yards, uh including a sixty yarder, which I know he fumbled out of bounds, but good thing he was near the sideline. But um Terrace Marshall Jr. looked looked pretty decent. You know, got a got a couple of grabs. Looked pretty good. Shy Smith got a um 26 yard uh reception. Um one reception, 26 yards. Yeah, Shy Smith. I, I would have loved to have seen the ball thrown his way a little bit more, but you know, that was made a made a really good catch for um a first down. David Moore. Got two catches, 26 yards. Tommy Trimble was active in the passing game uh, with three catches, 19 yards, and he got the, the touchdown for Carolina. So, you know, good to see Tommy Trimble really get his hands, get his hands and his feet wet in this game. But we got to see a lot of people touch the ball on as far as receivers, but there were also a lot of dropped dropped passes. I mean, there were a couple, even between PJ Walker and especially Will Greer, you know, that really should have been caught. Really should have been caught. But receiving game, not not too bad. Not it it could have been a lot worse. There were some drops, but it, it could have been a lot worse. But it's a work in progress. I was just really glad to see, you know, Tommy Tremble active, David Moore, Shy Smith got a grab, Terrace Marshall Jr. was looking was looking good. So th those are good signs. Those are definitely good signs. Let's see. Let's take a let's take a look at defense. So on the defense, uh, we got three sacks. So I thought thought that was pretty good. We got three sacks. Marquise Hayes got a um, sack. He, a he actually got a, a strip sack and a fumble recovery. Um, Utua Gross Matos, YGM, got himself a sack. And so did Frankie Louvu on a on a fourth fourth down play. Frankie Louvu got a got a sack. So it was really good to see the the pressure coming at the quarterback. So D line defense did a pretty good job of pressure. Pressuring the quarterback. Let's see. The top tackler was Jonathan Celestin um, with five solo tackles. Let's see. Got three turnovers. Uh, two fumble recoveries and an interception. The interception by Kenny Robinson at uh safety so i thought that was pretty good to see a to see a pick in the game so i mean defense was able to to get a few turnovers so that that was good i like the rotation that they had on the d-line they had some good rotation you know see a lot of young names in there So let's let's look over at some of the bad. First thing that comes into mind as far as the bad penalties. Carolina had 10 penalties, not to mention 3 3 false starts in a row. That is not good. That is not good at all. And apparently word is that they never really practiced, I guess, with a 
with a silent count or anything like that because they didn't expect the crowd to be as loud as they were. I'm like, you cannot make assumptions like that. It doesn't matter if it's a playoff game, season game, Pro Bowl, regular season, or preseason. Don't assume that. You've got to prepare for any sort of scenario. And clearly, with that being an issue, it showed today. With 10 penalties, a, a, a handful of false starts, that's not good. And it makes the offensive line look pretty bad. You know, this is it's not a good look. So we definitely got to clean up the penalties because because we had ten today. Let's let's see specifically ten. Yeah, ten penalties uh, totaling sixty four yards. That's that's not good. That's not good. So we definitely got to clean up the penalties. Those those have got to be cleaned up. So that was definitely a big issue. Secondly, the run defense. The run defense, I mean, run defense was definitely sluggish at times. We gave up 117 total rushing yards, which, I mean, you know, nobody broke for 100 or, or anything like that, and nobody broke a run longer than 14 yards, but gave up two rushing touchdowns. So, I mean, the, the run defense has got to do a little bit better. You know, just, I know for a lot of the game, this defense was, was bent but not broken, but the run defense just, the run defense needs to get better. Definitely needs to get better. Uh, looking at, Receiving. Well, well, actually, let's go to to the quarterbacks uh, for Indianapolis. Jacob Eason, fifteen of twenty one, hundred eighty three yards. Sam Edlinger, ten of fifteen, hundred fifty five yards. I mean, their completion, uh, and he uh, he's the one that threw the interception, but their completion percentages. I mean, 15 of 21, 10 of 15, not to mention DBs. The secondary, you know, a couple of guys were getting burnt. I mean, so it's a, it's a concern. It's definitely a concern. The secondary, you know, Stanley Thomas Oliver, third, didn't close in on some uh, receivers, on some plays, and just too many passes up the middle. Completions. Let me look and see how many first downs the Colts had. Yeah, the Colts had 14 passing first downs and nine and nine rushing first downs. Compared to us, where we had seven passing first downs and only three rushing first downs so they had so they had double the first downs that that carolina did you know that's that's not good 24 first downs that's a lot of first downs so and you know on compared to r12 that's that's a big difference so defense has to get a little better at um getting off the field earlier i'm not saying that there weren't times where they you know were able to get off the field after all uh the colts were nine of 16 on third down so there are plenty of times where carolina defense was able to get off the field now third down for carolina Something that we still struggle with season after season. Three of 14 on third downs. So I'm hoping that's another thing that they get cleaned up, especially on, on offense. That's something they need to really get cleaned up. Have to be able to finish drives. Definitely have to be able to finish drives, especially with touchdowns instead of field goals. I mean... 
I'll just say this. And, you know, I know a lot of people are going to disagree. And, you know, I get it. I get the argument and such. But all the negative talk about Joey Sly, y'all have to also realize that Carolina only got one touchdown in this game. One. Not to mention they were one of four in the red zone. And four field goals. Four field goals. I mean, can you really talk smack about Joey Sly in this situation? You really can't. Okay, he missed an extra point. Like I said, one extra point attempt because we only got in the end zone once. And the one field goal that he missed was a 63-yard attempt. I mean, you know, I, I was watching uh keep pounding tv's uh live stream and i and i noticed in some of the comments in the chat it's like a lot of <coughs> excuse me a lot of folks are just dogging joey sly you know in this game and it's like he's got y'all four field goals when the team couldn't finish with touchdowns except once it's like give the guy a break not to mention, the one attempt that he had and missed was a 63-yarder. Like, the, the Joey Sly bashing is, is a little ridiculous, especially this early. Especially this early. Like, I just, I just think it's a little, little ridiculous. I understand he struggled last season. I get it, but it's a new season, got through this first preseason game, and just looking at the chat, and already folks are roasting and dogging Joey Sly, and the dude had a good game, 4-5, got, got 12 of Carolina's 18 points, like, what the heck? If anything, should be more concerned about finishing drives with touchdowns instead of field goals. I mean, when you're when you're having games where the where the kicker is having attempt to attempt like five plus field goals, I mean that's a lot. Because that's five times y'all couldn't get into the end zone. So you got to look at both sides of it. You got to look at both sides of it. Yeah, kicker has one job, but the kicker is also one player in a team sport. It's one player in a team sport. Just some, something to keep in mind. Something to keep in mind. But... Looking back at this first preseason game, I, I think Carolina did pretty, pretty, at least a, if I had to give them a grade, let's see, if I had to give them a grade, <coughs> probably a C minus. It would have been a B plus if the second half was as good as the first half. If the second half was as good as the first half, I would have easily given them a B plus, but I have to bring it down to like C minus borderline D plus going into uh, that second half or that second half really kind of changed things up. Um, Hoping everything is okay with Troy Pride Jr. Uh, he got burnt a couple of times, and then he got seriously hurt. I don't know how bad it is, but it, it looks pretty bad. But Troy Pride, he got injured and got carted off. So, you know, which that's a that's a big issue because you know he's in the rotation of DBs. But I have to say, overall, 
P.J. Walker looked pretty good. Chuba Hubbard looked pretty pretty good. You know, had to, you know, keep pushing and was able to, you know, bust off a big run. <clears throat> you know, the receivers did okay. Just still a lot of drop drop catches. Defense, you know, defense got three turnovers. So, I mean, two, two fumble recoveries and an interception. Not bad. Not bad. You know, definitely, you know, got the turnovers. So, there was some good. And got three sacks. Got three sacks. So, there was, there was definitely some good in that. But as far as the bad, just the penalties. Penalties got have to get cleaned up. Run defense has to be better. Um, the secondary and, and passing defense. Like I said, the, the Colts, Colts got 24 first downs. So Carolina's just got to do a better job of getting off the field quicker. Just quicker. <clears throat> um, third down efficiency. We have to do a lot better. We are 3 of 14. We got to do a lot better there. But this could have been a much worse game. For the first preseason game coming back, this could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. I mean, third quarter was scoreless on both sides. So, I mean, both teams had good moments in this game. And just, you know, when it came down to it, Colts got the, the last, the, um, the game-winning field goal. But <clears throat> I think overall there was some good and there was some bad. But for the, for the first preseason game, could have been worse. Could have been worse. But anyway, let me know what y'all's thoughts are uh, that watched this preseason game. We got a lot to look forward to in these upcoming two games. I believe it's um, against Baltimore and against the Steelers. So we got two more left. Word is that we will see some Sam Darnold, at least in the, the third and final game. I don't know if we'll see Sam Darnold in the second game, but <clears throat> word is that we'll at least see D Sam Darnold in the third game. I don't know if we'll see much J.C. Horn or any of the other supposed starters, but still got a lot to look forward to with these upcoming two games and really see how the talent is shaping up. But let me know what y'all's thoughts are. What did y'all like about this game? What did y'all dislike? What do you think Carolina did great on? What do you think they did terrible on? What do you think they could do better with? Um, and let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been another edition of Carolina Panthers Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram. Hope to see y'all soon. Everybody have a blessed week. Laters.